Well, we've got an Ozark Trail cooler here. And I just want to say that I am not really impressed. What I am impressed with is the idea of block ice. As I've put a 16 pound bag of regular ice in here and that's it down there in the bottom in the liquid. So I noticed that they suggest block ice. Got a bowl, put it in the freezer. These things have lasted three days. Just, I guess because they're solid. These coolers are not the bomb. They are not worth the money. This one was 136. The one before that I had was called Lifetime. I give $96 for it. Not worth the money. No way, no how. Not even close. <clears throat> but I, even if you use like the regular ice to pre-cool it like they tell you to, <clears throat> that ice still does not last. You put this block ice in here, however, it stays cold. The drinks are still cold. Are, are they freezing cold? No. Do they recommend that you leave the water in it? Yes. So, put your stuff in it, fill it with regular ice, let it get cold, drain out most of that water, fill it with block ice and then you got something going on that piece right right down there three days I put it in Friday it's a Sunday still going so just a little quick short information kind of thing Handles are really hard to manipulate, but they're easier to replace because they got screws. And little cup holders, tape measure, so you can measure that little bitty fish you caught. Still not a fan of these kind of handles. And I can't say that I like that drain plug. But hey, it works. So, if you're thinking about a Yeti, I don't know. I'm not sure I'd spend $300 for a cooler. I'd just go with this. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. Drop me a comment. Be sure and sub and like for more videos. Later.